Hi there, Allie Marie here with My Catholic Perspective. Today at Mass, the priest talked about how in the Bible, it can come, sometimes feel like Jesus appeared to the disciples once and was with them only for a day and then left and went to heaven. When in reality, he was here for 40 days after the resurrection until he ascended into heaven. In the Bible, it can make it kind of seem like there was just this overwhelming joy that the apostles felt when they saw Christ, which launched them into this fire-felt pursuit of leading others to Christ, to baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to bringing the truth of Christ and his resurrection to so many people, when in reality, it took 40 days for Christ to instill in them this fire to go forward and witness to the world of his resurrection, of the truth, of the forgiveness of sins, and everything that Jesus Christ offered to the world. Within that, I want to talk about this all-or-nothing approach that seems to be infiltrating everything. In the Bible, we see that we're called to be hot or cold or, and not lukewarm. However, I would still stake the argument that a progression to being hot is imperative. When you put water on the stove, it doesn't instantly start boiling. It's not instantly hot. You have to let it warm up on the stove and it can take some time. Just as after the resurrection, it took 40 days of Christ being present on earth with his apostles to truly get them to the point that they were fully in belief of this. They saw the scars in his hands. They felt his wounds. He, They witnessed him eat fish. They took all of these steps to get that fire going just as an actual campfire would, right? It's springtime, it's starting to be campfire season. You have to light whatever little brindle you can, and then eventually you can add these logs. Eventually you can take this, but if you add those heavy logs right away, if you've ever built a campfire, you know, it smothers the fire. It puts out that little bit, that little spark that was going. If you try to light something too big right away, which is this all or nothing approach, this all, I'm all in, it can put out the fire because you can get burnt out quite literally with this. And so I just want to encourage you to take the time to let that build up, to allow yourself that space that if you're feeling called to witness to something, to allow that fire to build eventually. It doesn't need to be a New Year's resolution type commitment. It doesn't have to be, wow, I really, I haven't gone to mass in three years. I really, I'm feeling the conviction I need to start going to mass. So I'm going to go to daily mass every single day and I'm going all in on this. Yes, that would be a wonderful thing. However, it's not sustainable. I, I always like to talk about sustainable options for every approach to life. And, um, and in reality, with this hot or cold and not lukewarm, the catechism of the Catholic Church actually defines lukewarmness in paragraph 2094 and says lukewarmness is hesitation or negligence in responding to divine love. It can imply refusal to give oneself over to the prompting of charity. So within this, you see negligence and refusal. Those are two words that stand out to me that support this idea that a gradual um, acceptance and gradual um, approach to allowing yourself heat up to being hot. Now, I will also say with the whole idea that purgatory is fire, that we enter purgatory on our way to heaven, if we're able to do this exacting work on heaven, like for heaven on earth, if we're warm, warm water boils faster than cold water. And if we're hot, hot water boils even faster. I, whenever I have to fill up my stovetop pot, I always wait for the water to heat up to hot in the sink because I know that if I wait the extra 20 seconds to fill up my pot with hot water, it's going to boil that much faster on the stove. Whereas if I just put cold or even lukewarm water on the stove, it's not going to boil anytime as fast. It takes, you know, 10 minutes or however long. I don't even know. It's been so long since I put cold water on the stove. But anyway, I just want to encourage you that while we're here on earth, do your best to be warming up to that hot state because then in purgatory, that fire is going to like make it hot right away. And so if you're hot when you enter purgatory and your path to heaven is like set out for you, but if you show up there and you're cold or you're warm, um, you know, and you're not really dedicating your life to that exacting work of developing the virtues of accepting that divine love 
that that definition speaks of, you're going to be there a while. And it's a painful fire. It's a purifying fire. And we just have to be preparing ourselves to enter that. Um, just as we would put water on the stove, then turn it all the way up to hot and like want it to boil right away. Um, but I, yeah, I just want to encourage you today. I'm like, I've been taking a little bit of a new direction with this channel. I'm really like interested in posting every Sunday and Thursday. Um, Thursday being a little bit more super doctrinal wise, but Sundays being a little bit more maybe a reflection on the mass or just something personal about what's going on in life, more personal updates. Um, but, and so today, like I want to do that, but I also want to hear from you and know um, what is keeping you from being hot? What is keeping you from like entering that stage? What what is it a lack of motivation? Does it just look too hard? Does it seem unattainable? Are there certain aspects of doctrine that maybe you're struggling with or things in the world that you're seeing that are causing you to be disheartened? Um, I'd love to hear from you so that I can respond to those types of questions that you have because I have my own questions and things that hold me back from feeling motivated in certain aspects of my life, but I'm not you, you're not me, and I'd love to be able to answer your questions because I can sit here all day and talk about the things that hold me back from you know, being able to commit myself to losing baby weight or, you know, staying under budget for the groceries. Those are a couple of things that I kind of struggle with. So, but I want to hear what you're, what, what's holding you back? What's holding you back from accepting that divine love, from immersing yourself into what God has to offer? Um, hopefully you're not like actively neglecting a prompting to charity, but if so, why? What What is holding you back? I'd love to be able to dialogue with you about that, to offer any input that I might be able to offer, whether that's from personal experience or research, um, and, and move forward with that with you because we are a community here. We're all human. We're all trying our best to hopefully be the best versions of ourselves in whatever ways that we know how. And I've just found for me that that all or nothing approach ends up falling short. I end up smothering the fire. I'm like, oh, I'm going to like start this weight loss program. I'm going to, you know, start this diet and we're going to do no sugar, no dairy, no wheat, and we're going to go full force ahead. But in actuality, it's, you got to light the brindle first, maybe cut out sugar like candy and not the ketchup sugar and everything else. Like it has sugar in the ingredients list. We can't buy it. Um, you know, and, and finding that way of what is the balance? How are we going to keep the pot on the stove? How can you keep the pot there so that eventually you will be hot? Eventually the water within you, that spirit within you will boil. And when it boils, I've started making chickpea pasta lately. It overflows every single time, no matter how much I stir it, no matter what I do, that boiling water with that particular type of pasta in there, it boils over. And that's what we want in God. We, God's love, my cup overfloweth, right? It's, he's there. And I just want to encourage you to seek that, encourage you to move forward. I encourage you to share with me, um, whether it's in a comment below or in a private message, either on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, um, just let me know. And I'd be happy to address whatever, questions you might have or just you know maybe offer a piece of encouragement of how I've overcome a similar struggle that maybe you're experiencing um and and just build that community I'd love to be able to be here for you so and thanks for being here with me today um I just pray that God grants you the resources that you need to draw closer to him and in turn to those around you and I pray that you're able to make it a great day we'll talk to you soon